Hello, my name is David Arnold, 32-bit product marketing manager at Microchip Technology. Welcome to our first episode of Microchip Minutes, SAM MCU edition. In this episode, I will cover a low power overview for the SAM products. I will reference the SAM L21 throughout this video since it contains all the low power features. End products are increasingly moving to being battery powered. These products range from wearables to IoT nodes. In general, why care about low power? Low power operation is critical in many different applications, which can include battery powered applications, applications that you need to reduce power and heat dissipation, and government and green initiative type products. For the SAM products, there are many features that will allow you to achieve the lowest power consumption. If we look at these features, they include ultra low power process technology. For the lowest power operation, you'll want to design on a low power process. Regulators and oscillators, multiple types of regulators, including LDO and BAC for the different performance levels, many different options for internal RC oscillators as well as external oscillators. Multiple domains, both power domains as well as clock domains or clock gating, help in reducing the power consumption further. Pico power peripherals and low power analog. I will come back to the term Pico power, but it basically references all the low power techniques that we use for the SAM products. For the low power analog, this includes the ADC, the DAC, and the discrete op amps on the SAM L21. If we look at the different power domains of the SAM L21, I will cover several topics on this, which include multiple sleep modes, power domains, fast wake up from the different sleep modes, and the different performance levels. First of all, why is fast wake up important? If you want to optimize the power consumption, you're dissipating power when you wake up into active mode from a deep sleep mode. Basically, the wake up time is dissipating power without any CPU operation. If we look at the different power domains or sleep modes, only certain functions operate in each one of the modes. For example, if we look at the backup mode, only the real time clock and the backup domains are powered. The last topic I will cover is sleepwalking in the event system. Both of these are core independent peripherals, which basically means that you can operate without the CPU's intervention. The event system allows one peripheral to signal another peripheral. For example, after a timer counter times out, you might want to do an ADC measurement. Sleepwalking is where the peripheral stays in the retention mode, and when an event occurs, the peripheral will request a clock and verify if an event requires the attention of the CPU. As I mentioned earlier, Pico power is an all-encompassing term, which includes low power techniques on the SAM devices. This graph covers several low power techniques and represents how to get the lowest power possible. Techniques like fast wake up time, event system, sleepwalking, and low power operation, both active and in sleep modes. One technique for low power that I would like to reemphasize is the event system and sleepwalking. At the end of this video, I will show a simple demonstration of a low power touch demo, which only consumes 3.5 microamps waiting for a touch. One last topic before we move into the next section is the SAM L21 MCU, which has a score of 185.8 on the Embassy ULP bench, the highest publicly recorded score for any Cortex M0 Plus processor. Next, I will cover the low power tools, which allow you to validate and estimate the power consumption in your design. Developers need an easy way to validate the power consumption on their end products. There are three tools that I will cover in this section, which include the power debugger, the data visualizer, and the XLP battery life estimator. The power debugger is a powerful development tool for debugging and estimating the power consumption on your design. In addition, the power debugger has two independent current sensing channels for measuring and optimizing the power consumption. The Power Debugger also includes a CDC virtual COM port interface as well as data gateway interface channels for streaming application data to the host processor from an SPI, UART, TWI, or GPIO source. The part number for the Power Debugger is AT Power Debugger and the price is $190 US. The Data Visualizer is a program used for processing and visualizing data. It can receive data from various sources such as the embedded debug data gateway interface found on explained boards. The data visualizer has a graph plotter and an oscilloscope, a terminal, and a configurable dashboard with buttons, sliders, and various indicators. It can decode protocols and log data to a file. The last tool that I will discuss is the XLP Battery Life Estimator. The XLP Battery Life Estimator is a free software utility to aid you in developing extreme low power applications with microchips MCUs. 
This tool allows average current consumption and battery life. The utility also allows users to select the target device, battery type, the application's operating conditions, such as voltage and temperature, and finally model the active and power down times for their applications. Users can also create additional profiles for a custom battery of their choice, if necessary. The final part of this video is to show you a demo of low power operation using the peripheral touch controller. This demo consists of the SAM L21 Explained Pro board, the QT3 Explained Pro board, and the data visualizer. In this demo, the PTC, the event system, and the RTC are used. Basically, the PTC is sleepwalking and waiting for a touch to determine if an interrupt is generated to wake up the main CPU. The RTC is used to periodically wake up and perform drift compensation on the PTC. In this demo, we can achieve less than four microamps of average current consumption on a wake-on-touch event. The project was compiled with Atmos Studio, which is available from the microchip.com website. This is a low power demo for touch using the SAM L21 Explained Pro, QT3 Explained Pro, and a power debugger board. The data visualizer is running on the PC on top. If you notice, the power consumption is only three microamps when looking for a touch. If you perform a touch in the QT3, the system will wake up, detect a touch, and then go back to sleep if there is no other touch. By using the low power techniques of the SAM products, you can achieve this ultra low power consumption as demonstrated in this demo. For more information on the SAM MCUs, please visit microchip.com. Thanks for watching.